I'll just, I'll chop it up and uh, put what I think is good on there. And a couple videos and whatnot. Um, I'm not really prepared for it, but so anyways, yeah, I mean, you started off with just based on going back to when I first kind of found out about you. I don't even know how, how that was, but I think you hit me up. And then, so your first algo was this, uh, was, was this um, hole. Was it the ultimate hole cross? Was that your first algo? It, it was the second. So the first one was the money moves strategy, which is okay. the Hakanashi strategy. Okay. It's very basic. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a smooth Hakanashi. Yeah. Um, and I've messed with it. Baseline. Yeah. Um, so is that, so when you came up with that strategy, was, was that your first, like, were you already kind of doing trading like that before you decided to go, Hey, I want to be, I want to do, turn this into an algo. Was that kind of like your first? Yeah. So, um, so like I, I, I learned trading the same way everyone else does. Right. So YouTube, I was part of IML for a while. Right. So, um, and then you start getting ads about all these indicator companies, right? You have your trusted signals, you have your trend bot, Lux Algo, all these companies, and they're always using Hakanashi, right? And when you don't know better, you don't know better. So, um, you know, you buy these things and you put on the Hakanashi charts and then, you know, it works and then it doesn't work. It works and then it doesn't work and then it doesn't work. And why, do, doesn't why do you, what do you think it fails at the Hakanashi? um it's it's only meant for trend trend conditions so um you know like w when i made the the money move strategy it was because um one i when i really started into learning i fell in love with uh vp no nonsense forex right so like i wanted to create an algorithm like he did and um I was like, okay, you know, how can I do something around Hakanashi's? And then you go on trading view and then you start seeing you know, smooth Hakanashi moving out, you know, indicators that exist. And you're like, okay, so instead of, instead of having all of them different, how can I combine them? You go, you find a guy that can do it for you or you learn how to do it yourself. And that's what the money move strategy did. So, you know, it's it, 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 compared to Hakanashi to price action candles is important to know that Hakanashi candles have a completely different way of calculating price, right? Um, you know, one Hakanashi bar probably has one or two positive negative candles in it, and you can't tell where price is really going. And even though I'm not really a quote unquote price action trader in the sense where I'll trade bullish engulfings or harmonic patterns or smart money concept, Price data is price data. You can't make indicators without price data. And being able to read price data is being able to read market structure. Everything else is in more advanced things. If you think about it, like when you're when learning how to write as a kid, you, write, you learn how to write in between the lines from left to right. That's literally just what market structure is. When you start learning cursive and you know pronunciations and stuff, that's when you start getting to your bullish engulfings, your harmonic patterns. That's what the more advanced versions of just learning market structure, right? right? So you hear me talk about it a lot in all my systems that even though traditionally I am a no-nonsense Forex trader because I do trade off my indicators, I trade off my momentum, I follow those rules, the ATR, um, I'm, I still use my market structure to confirm those entries. And it's hard to do that with Hakanashi candles, right? right? So yeah. that's why I made it an overlay over price action candles. Right. And if you notice a similarity between the money move strategy and what I did with the Don, that's exactly where the, where it came from being able to yeah. still see price action data and, right. but still be able to use the calculations overlay on how I would traditionally trade, you know, Hakanashi or Ranko when I made the cheat code, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you still want to be able to see how price is moving because um, 
sometimes you want to get out of a position early, you know, especially because I trade US 30 and NASDAQ gold, you get these big wick candles and that makes a difference. Volume candles, like all these things make a difference when trading and creating algorithms. And um, you just have to take an account for it. And you're, so when you're trading your algos now, you are you, you put in a little bit of discretion then with what you're doing. Like, it's not going to be like, you've got your rules and you've got the, you've got the, the buy signal, sell signal, the targets, but you're going, Hey, I don't think this is going to hit target too. Yeah. And I'm, I'm getting out of this now. Yeah. Or, I mean, I, I think this is going to hit the stop. Might as well just get out of it. Yeah. I mean, it, it, there's still indicators, right? right? I, I never, I never say just follow this blindly. You know what I mean? Maybe in terms of confidence, I'm like, you could really put on the chart and, and for the most part, trade it blindly, meaning over 50 to 60%, you'll win because I've done the back test. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you, you, if you want that 70, 80, there's rules, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because you get a sell signal doesn't mean you take it if there's no momentum in the market. Mm -hmm. You still follow traditional rules. You don't trade US 30 during Tokyo session. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're yeah. getting a sell signal at five o'clock PST, but. I noticed that. I noticed yeah. a lot of those of those sells and buys just get choppy. And some because of, of the market that you're in. But if you're trading an asset that trades during that session and the algo is telling you something, you have a better chance taking that signal. Right. Because the momentum's there. Right. All my algos have built in momentum. Mm -hmm. All the algos have built in structure. Right. right. The, like, and if you study indicators like the SSL um, mm -hmm. um, moving average is really a high or low moving average. Right. Yeah. By calculation. So when it breaks, you're getting that. It's 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 like a it's like a traditional moving average, but it takes in market structure. That's why when you look at the SSL, how right. it's coded, it's like a line every time it breaks. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, to, you know what I'm saying? That's that's right. the calculation behind it. Yeah. Then uh, you have those three baselines to give you your overall trend. Right. And you follow the rules from there. Right. And then you have the, the couple built into it so you can see if there's a volatile movement. Sure. Okay. So it's yep. like a filter on filter on filter. And then yep. I'd rather take one or two trades out of the 10 signals I was given mm -hmm. if the momentum's there. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's it. So it, it's a little discretionary. You just got to practice with it. You got to kind of. Yeah. Kind of I mean, it's it. like any, any system, man. Like mm -hmm. it's like all these algo companies are great at marketing. And For sure. For sure. have you seen me market? Have you seen ads for money moves investments? Uh, you know, no. I mean, I think you're trying to go more organic than anything. Yeah. So I mean, that's I, yeah. on this coming week, the 15th of January is actually the one year anniversary of money moves investments. Really? And I think I'm, thank you. I think I'm at the point where I'm done actually creating algos. Really? Yeah. There's nothing else for me to create, bro. Yeah. There's nothing else. Yeah. Um, I can spend more time teaching and, uh, you know, marketing, doing videos and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, in comparison to a lot of other companies, I do a lot, bro. <laughs> yeah. I have like, five, oh, shit, how many algos do I have? The cheat code, the Don pullback scalper, Ichimoku, Hall, Money Moves Moving Average, and the toolkit. So I have eight algos, seven bots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the no, tool it's a lot. It's a lot for sure. And I have the copy trader. Then I have 16 signals chats. You know what I mean? I do daily calls. So, you know, it what I aimed for with Money Moves Investments was to show difference. And I don't not be a guru, but just someone that wants to fucking help. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I do as much as I can and enjoy and I enjoy creating these because it's like building a puzzle. But at, at one right. point you're like, what other strategy can I build into this, bro? I know, I know how exact I think that's why we're connected, man. Cause like you said, I know you've seen my videos and I'm just I just I'm obsessed with mm -hmm. putting these this puzzle together. Yeah, you know, taking this I price so action, taking ways. this price data. Yeah, in so many yeah. ways. Like, um, you'll see in the course when I, I I just released the MM toolkit, and what the toolkit is is a whole bunch of price action tools. It doesn't give you buy and sell signals. It's just an overlay of price action tools, and you know, 
For example, Fibonacci. How many people you know swear by the Fibonacci? I mean, so many people. people the love... theory of the Fibonacci is fundamentally flawed when it's applied to trading. Why do you why do you say that? I mean, it's it's, it's a psychological thing. If you got it's a psychological thing, just 60% like sixty percent or seventy percent of the traders are using Fibonaccis. But know, what is it's it? It's just like a reflexive thing. Yeah, but but what is it really? Well, I mean, people think it's a harmonic. They think it's part of just nature in general. It's just uh, it's just a part of just it's the a, fundamental. It's an ideology. It's an idea. Is it or is it is it a is it an actual fact of life? I mean, you see the Fibonacci be, ratio but, but and, and everything. But it's still argument. It's still you can argue it, right? Sure. Just the same thing as smart money concepts. When you think about smart money concepts, the ideology behind smart money concepts, it's retail traders versus the banks. We right. want to trade with the banks. Right. It's, a, it's a marketing. I'm not saying it's a marketing tactic, but that's how they teach it. Sure. When I look at that, I'm like, the market goes up and down, bro. All you're doing is identifying levels. Yeah. If I was to put a line, anyone watching this video, go on your trading view, take the horizontal line and just put it anywhere on the chart. Yeah. Look to your left. So you're going to find some some kind of resistance. Unless you're at an all-time high or all-time low, price has done something at that line. Right. Yeah. All of Fibonacci is, and if you hear my videos, I talk about minor levels. Uh -huh. Right? You have your major structure, your mid structure, and then all the little structures in between. All the Fibonacci does is from the high to the low of current market, the current high-low, major high-low, mm -hmm. draws a line and then identifies it by the Fibonacci numbers. But what's the difference between that and me just drawing out each line? Well, it, you're giving yourself, um, you know, uh, you're giving yourself a relative target based on that high and low. So exactly. But it's still market structure. True, true. Because and you're and looking I, at I do it totally different. Reacted at that line. Yeah, I do it totally different. I just take it as a fractal, but you know, people, and exactly. I don't use I don't use Fibonacci's at all. It's I, by I, definition. I, that's my point. Me crazy, but yeah, it's by definition. So Maybe when right. I teach trading, it's how do you identify with the market? When you were mm -hmm. taught trading, the divergences just hit you, and you're like, "This makes sense." Right. Did yeah. smart money hit you in liquidation zones because it just makes sense? And that can work for you if that's what yes, makes sense. That's to you. the point. So right. when you're making indicators, the thing about indicators is that, and then people say they don't work is because one, the people that made them know what the fuck they were doing. And when they taught it, they didn't teach it well. So people don't want to do the work to learn it. Right. And then, you know, there's so many of them, which one works the best? So they all, I, they all they all work like 60%, right? Yeah, <laughs> most much. Of yeah. But then when you combine them, that 60% jumps to 80. Right. That's what an algo is, a proper algo at least. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So, like with the Don, like I said, on, when you load it on your chart, it's 60% profitable on the one hour time frame. 66. I've had it back tested across major pairs, right? 66%. As soon as you implement the capo into it and an extra baseline, it jumps up to 80. Yeah. It's about the combination of them. Different markets move in different conditions. Different markets move in better sessions. It, it, you just have to identify that. Trading is a personality trait. And if you're using certain tools to identify how you want to trade, that's all I did as a company was first I started off as like, oh yeah, I'm gonna build a course around my systems. But then I realized I loved making the systems more than teaching the course. Right. So I was like, I'm really an algo company. Because I don't trade fibs, but my toolkit has fibs in it. I know how to treat, trade fibs, even though I don't trade fibs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I can yeah. teach how to trade fibs, but just give you the tool because the major part about trading fibs is people don't know what, what high low to point. Price can just blast through shit, but this is doing it automatically based on price calculation. Like I went over earlier, you want to see the candlesticks and everything overlay over the candlesticks. That way you have proper representation of price. And that way the indicator can do what it needs to do. Right. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. So you pivoted from, from almost you were doing a, a coaching type of company. Yeah. And you were just like, let me just build the, the algos mm -hmm. because you felt like, and what you did was you created so many different types to fit a personality for, 
fit everybody's personality. You've got the pullback, you've got the trends, you've got you know market structure, you've got the Renko. And so, and so now you're feeling like you basically have covered the majority of trading styles. Yeah. And you're kind of like, okay, now we can get into like, let's try to get everybody profitable. Yeah, year two is, is um, I, I'm excited for it. I mean, it is a lot on my plate. But the thing that if you've seen like how I am in my discord, I'm very hands on in my community and I hold myself accountable for my own fuck ups. Right. So when I fuck up, I say I fuck up and I rectify it. Um, I remember that one time you you felt like you just turned the copy trader on, I think. Yep. And you got a little stressed out, yep. messed up a couple of trades, but you did own up to that. And yeah. I think a lot of people respected you for that. Yeah. For, and then I actually and then you turned it around. Yeah, I turned it around and I actually sent money to those uh, smaller accounts to wow. build those. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I, I got a heart, bro. Like, I'm not trying to take people's bread. You know, this company changed my life and I haven't done marketing. Those 600 people in my Discord have been natural. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, like, even one of my students, as you, you just said that, he was like, yo, I'll take the copy trader off your hands. Wow. And he yeah. was like, I'll run your copy trader because between everything else that I do, bro, like I got, look at my background. I got a whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. those are individual companies, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All based around trading. Um, mm -hmm. So running a copy trader with hundreds of people on it, being responsible for not only my trades, but for their trades. And then when it, they don't go good, I lose sleep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for sleep. sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's stressful. He was like, yo, I'll take it for you. You know, you know, he vouches for money moves a lot. He uses the bot, you know, he's in the testimonials all the time. So, um, you know, now one of my students have become one of my lead traders, you know what I'm saying? So he's nice. going to be helping me out um, yeah. with the copy trader. But, um, but yeah, like I, I've, I've spent more time actually just earning the trust of my community. And then once I feel like, you know, they got me, you know, my little 50 to 100 subscribers that I balance between um, over the course of the year are just going to grow naturally um, because I'm going to have the infrastructure in place to help people. And yeah. when I'm not available, my lead guys are going to step in and handle that for me. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I went from a coaching thing and it's still a coaching thing. I still do daily calls. I still do individual one on ones. I still teach people how to trade. Um, I do have a full course, but um, I don't sit here and uh, go, this is the end all be all. Some people are really good at just pure price action. <laughs> Some people need that extra help. Some people, um, you know, love indicators. Um, I try to find the middle ground for both where I say, you can trade price action. I don't say don't trade your price action, but I can tell you for a fact that you have the ultimate confirmation on your screen right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, that's uh, your, your, your indicators. So I've been messing around with all of them. And the only one that I don't get, I think at this point is the cheat code. Yeah. Um, the it new is, one. It's, it's, it, yeah. It, it's a, uh, and I think it, I think it looks freaking cool, but I cannot figure it out. You should have to go over that one with me. Um, the Dawn is my favorite. Yeah. And Sensei is awesome, but I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of Ichimoku uh, in, in certain markets, so I don't mess around with the Sensei a lot. Uh, I do if it starts to work, but uh, the Dawn is the Dawn is my absolute favorite. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, I had this conversation again with somebody about this same exact topic with the Sensei. It's like, yo, like we love the Sensei, but like the Sensei bot gets messed up in choppy markets. I'm like, when I released it, I told you mm -hmm. have the any of these systems mostly are trend based. The cheat code's more um, versatile because it's using Renko, which is pure market structure itself. Mm -hmm. The Don is a little bit more versatile as well because you can have it set um, to certain session settings. But with the Ichimoku, it's purely a trend based system. Right. So you may not want to trade Forex with it 100% of the time. Yeah. You're going to want to trade something like gold, your Bitcoin, like NASDAQ. But like I said, don't have it running 24-7 when you know NASDAQ chops up at Asian or it chops up sometimes during London. 
it's it's a New York session based system. Mm -hmm. I only trade once a day, bro. New York yeah. session. Yeah. My yeah, I started I started doing that. Yeah. I started yeah. saying like I'm just doing New yeah. York. That's it. Assets correlate to their sessions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So why would you? This is it's not that the Ichimoku doesn't work. It just doesn't work for this asset at this period of time. What right. time does odd USD usually run? New York session? Look at what it does during New York session. Back test that. Because that's right. why in the Don, if you've seen, there is the sessions and then you have strict. Mm -hmm. And then you can set the times. Yep. So if I'm looking for entries after 6.30 PST, which is 9.30 EST, after the stock exchange opens, I'm waiting for the next valid signal after the stock exchange opens. After that big volatile happens, we're looking right. for the trend to happen. Yep. And then I trade from 9.30 to, uh, I mean, 6, 6.45 here to like 10 a.m. here. Right. That's that's my window for looking for valid trades. Yeah. 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 No, I, it took me a while to actually start doing that. But I, I, uh, I was going to do a video on how that's why the dawn is so great, because you, you can set your trading session up and mm -hmm. set your signals up and you can go, look, I want to, I want to set up five or six different time frame signals just for New York. And you just, you just go about your day, just wait for the signal to show up. Exactly. Basically. And but that's the whole point. Like the, yeah. I love the argument of people are like, these are just free indicators you can put up. I'm like, you're hundred percent correct. You can look up a lot of the indicators that are built into the dot. But well, people are saying it? that to you. And, but I've seen people say that in 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 your your. Well, I say, I heard you say it. A few I times. say I say some of yours are you know. Yeah. But you can't put these together like you do for exactly. free. That's the and point. that's I also qualify that because um, a lot of these other companies they just throw it up there and they throw up a, a price target deal, and there's there's no other there's nothing else you could just do that yourself. Exactly. You know? And the only that's thing you need to do is throw the price you know profit target thing on there manually, but. And so that's what I liked about yours is, is man, I can work my, my nine to five and have this thing set up and either turn the copy trader on or I can turn my own signals on and just wait and just sit there. And I can have, have you, have, have you set alerts on it yet? Have I had what now? Have you set alerts from the Don yet? Oh, oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> I have, I have the, I have like 20 alerts set for the Don for. And you see how it sends to your phone? Well, yeah. So I have the, uh, I have, you know, basically, what you can do is I set up the um, specific ticker. So like I'll have NASDAQ five minute, I'll, I'll set it as a NASDAQ five minute buy, you know, cause you yeah. can go in there and customize, customize the alert. And basically it's only strict for, you know, New York. And so then I'll know there's a five minute buy going on in the, in the New York uh, NASDAQ. I'll go check out the chart and see if I like the signal, yeah. you know, but then I'll right. have to look at the chart. It will send you with the entry, the take pro it sends like an actual signal from the signals chat. Well, yeah. So, and so I actually had, I actually had this um, sending to my telegram chat just for a little bit of time, just to be like, let's see how this works and see if anybody, you know, thinks mm -hmm. this is cool because yeah, it would show, it would show a NASDAQ buy. And then all of a sudden, you know, NASDAQ's going crazy. So it, it was really cool how that was working. It was getting a little, I had too many signals going on, but I just wanted to test it. So yeah. I, I might, I might be having that going into my discord uh, that I'm creating, I'm building up here, but um, yeah, I, I love that, that ability. Now the sensei, I, I love that too, but I couldn't quite make that work the same as the Dawn. It didn't have that flexibility. Yeah, because the, the sensei has the cloud. So the, the good and downside to the, to the Ichimoku is that if price is in the cloud, it's not going to give you the, the signal if you have the strict feature on. So, because that, it's a rule, it's a very strict rule-based system. That's what the Ichimoku is. Right. So prices underneath the crowd, you get the cross. Well, my sensei, my the one the algo I have, sorry to cut you off, but I don't have the strict feature for um for the sessions. Is that is that a thing for sensei? Uh, Do you have the you sessions? Have the old, you have the old one. You don't have okay, that. okay. So there is one now that has the sessions yeah, strict. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a V2. Um, it has a fat cloud Ichimoku, it has a scalp Ichimoku cloud. Um, and then it has okay. a traditional Ichimoku cloud. I still have the old one then. Okay. So yeah. the, maybe I would, yeah, maybe I would be messing around with it a lot more if I had, because yeah. the Dawn, the Dawn V2 is obviously a, a much cleaner version than, than yeah. the Ichimoku I think one, you actually need, so. I think I need to actually give you the, the updated version of the Dawn V2. 
uh, because I think you still have the one with the, the Hakanashi moving average built inside of it and uh, the, the Kikyoashi um, bars from the baseline. So um, this new one has a central pivot. The new Dawn you're saying has? Okay. Yeah. So it's technically the V3, but it's just an updated version of the V2, right? Um, yeah, so you didn't pivot. have, you just had high, low pivots. Um, yeah, so if you can okay. see my screen, I actually, um, so we have a break even feature built in. So it's a built it's better money management, break even, offset, meaning. Oh, and you um, got the runner setting too. Yeah, then the runner. Um, if uh, you have it set to break even at the TP1, it will go to break even, but the break even offset, if you have it at 35, it will go break even plus 35 points. Right. So yeah. if your broker, you know, this is how I teach it. If your broker is 30, right, and you want to move it into a little bit of profit to cover your spread. Right. And then, because yeah. you know, if, it, if you break it to break even and it hits it, you're going to be negative that spread when yeah. you look at your history. So you just cover it a little bit more because mine is 30. So I put it at 35. So if it does hit my break even, it will take me out at a dollar or some shit. You know what I mean? All right. Sure. Um, Oh, yeah, added compounding signals uh, to that. Yeah, as well. compounding that was, signals. Nice. I don't have those on because this is just basic high low stuff. I'm fine. I'm trying to find a way to make this more um, efficient. Is there a way? I was just wondering about this the other day. Is uh, looking at the ATR, the uh, risk calculator. Yeah. And the only thing that I couldn't figure out is the the lot size doesn't get calculated for the for the particular asset you're trading does it yeah it does. so so for example i was like okay I'm, I'm putting my risk in here uh say i got ten thousand dollar account i only want to risk one percent and i'm trading nasdaq okay and it's saying trade like four lots and it's just that's just not that's not going to work you're oh, gonna yeah, that, so you know what i mean so yeah so i mean that's the thing it, that's a trading view thing yeah, I figured it. I figured it was probably a limitation in there. Yeah, there's a limitation. I didn't so, know if that was ever anything that could. There's there's nothing I could do about nothing. that, and it's because yeah. that TradingView doesn't recognize um, forex broker type of dealing. You know what I'm saying? It, it sure. recognizes equity trading and you know crypto trading stuff like that. Um, it doesn't. You know that's why you have to specifically code these things a certain way. Um, so like right now I'm on gold on the five minute thousand dollar account is telling me my lot size should be seven. Right. Yeah. But that's based on a different type of trading. If you're trading Owando or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a different regulatory um, situation. So um, even I, I, you know, your stop loss and pips is 1.9 here. Um, well, that, that, that all makes sense. And that's all amazing. I, I love having that in there. Um, yeah, so it's the lot you know, size thing was always kind of like I don't think that's accurate. It doesn't make any sense. So it doesn't make it's not too accurate all the time. It's more it's definitely more accurate on like the forex pairs, right? Um, okay. But when it comes to like those, you know, crypto for example, and gold and and like the indices, it can get a little bit um, too much. But it is more effective on the fifteen minute time frame and higher because you have to understand that this is also based on ATR. Um, damn, this mm -hmm. is a good, this is yeah. a good signal here. It's based on the ATR and, um, like lot size 0. 0.13 on a thousand dollar account. You know what I'm saying? It, that makes sense. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but when you're trading something as volatile as, you know, the NASDAQ and you see that these are the trades that we took, um, this week, um, you know, this is going to be high volatility. So even right here, my lot size is 0. 0.33 on a thousand dollar account, this makes more sense to do. That does make sense actually. Um, okay. You get me? So yeah. it's, it's, it's really the ATR plus the limitations that training view presents sometimes. So you have to use a little bit more common sense. Now, is this a uh, table down here at the bottom? Is this a part of the uh, V3? Yeah. So, I mean, okay. it's still called V2, but right. yeah, um, it's, this is the multi time frame table. So it will say if you have a, in the settings down here, uh, where is it right here? You can have your time frames that you want to check the one hour uh this is the 15 and 20 um and, and it will pop up through. here cool. and it will tell you if your signal matches the higher time frame 
And and do you ever use the strict feature on that? Uh, for my bot, yes. For the bot, okay. Yeah. Right. When you're scalping, um, no, because... Yeah, you want the signals to show up. You want the signals to show. And because I'm scalping, this buy is not going to plot because you're in an overall downtrend on the higher time frame. Right. And I know that. So it's a little different. But if you're on if you're on a bot, um, I use the higher time frame strict because again, you're not supervising the trade. So you want very, very quality signals. Super quality, yeah. Yeah. So I will only take these cells on yeah. my bot. Um but yeah, that's essentially you, it. And when you're scalping during the day, are you using the pivot points at all? Or are you just using just basically I'm just your you know, your own way of coming up with market structure? Um it depends on the system I'm using, really. So you, you like you see right here, I'm using channel. I have right. a channel. I got my zones drawn up from like the one hour time frame that I marked up here, mm -hmm. right? Um, and you can see I just use my horizontal lines to point certain areas that I've seen price hold to high. Then this was the last a low, last mm -hmm. major low. When it broke this low, retested, we got in for this trade again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying on this breaker structure. So a, a tool, and this is the toolkit that I was telling you about. Yeah. Um, let me hide everything. So what the toolkit does is it has your daily, it has um real time, not re non-repaint pivots. So it will plot in real time as the as new structure is formed. So is it plotting the, the daily pivot or whatever? It's the current pivot. It, the current. So you can see how these are plotting here. These okay. will plot in real time. So let me actually put replay. And then uh, let it load. It's a lot. So if I press play, you can see that line plotting in real time. And then you have your breaker structure popping out. And then you have your uh, pivot being plotted with this price level. And then it creates new pivots. Uh -huh. And it creates new pivots. And you now, can see that. what time frame are those pivots off of? Can you just so current, set that? This is the current time frame. Um, and then you these moving so averages a are multi time frame moving average, and then this Fibonacci is a multi time frame fib that you can see adjusting in real time. Okay. Right. So, um, and these are higher time frame candles. So these, so you have your candles. That's why I talk about overlays a lot. I can see the price data happening in my one hour time frame candle. Then when you look over here to the left, it's actually showing me the hourly time frame candle. Right. Okay. Right. I yeah. just showing me what it's looking like the past nine candles on the hour time frame. This candle is right over here. Have you been trading with this? This is all I've been trading with all week. This is how I've been catching really? up. Yep. Is this one? Okay. So you're not actually you're using the dawn as kind of like a secondary, or you know, yeah. maybe the so this is like, like I secondary. said, yeah, the toolkit is made to be an overlay. So if I see the my multi time frame moving averages underneath, I will just plot the dawn on top of all of this. It's going to be a lot. But you just, you know, turn it on and off. I got the sell signal. Boom. I take it. And I'm out. Okay. What about the cheat code, man? Tell me about this thing. I'm, I'm super curious about this new one because uh, I love Renko bars. And this is just so fascinating the way it looks. Yeah. So the cheat code. Um, <sighs> The cheat code was a headache. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so with the cheat code, it's taking a second to load because, again, all my indicators are really heavy. But with the cheat code, what you're getting is a lot. So let me actually fix this. Uh, let me actually put it on something. Actually, let me put it on US 30. It, it looks like a, a, a scalping system. Is that what the point of it is? Or no? uh, kind of. Or is it trend? It's mostly trend. This is the it's supposed to be trend. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, it's trip. 
This is the wrong key code. Do you actually have a bot running with the cheat code or no? Like a copy uh, trader or a bot or anything? Yes, I do. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I do. I do. Um, and then to go V2, that should be my favorite stuff. So right now, all of the indicators have a, you know, consensus that you use, but yeah. So the cheat code is what looks like a lot. Let me try to simplify it for you. Right. So the cheat code is based on Renko. And the reason why you decide to use an indicator or Renko is because the traditional Renko charts from trading view repaint heavily. Right. So, um, they're not a really good representation of price. So you see um, the cheat code right now. I think I have it. Let me actually go into it a little bit. This is actually going to get uh, um, a risk settings update in a little bit. But let me go traditional wrinkle size 20 to like 10. Let me update that. So what it is, is just like Renko you can set your price, um, point of price on how many points you want it to move, right? So let me actually make this 50, just so you can see. So now a new wrinkle brick is gonna form after 50 points of movement, mm -hmm. right? So you just saw these wrinkle bricks get bigger, mm -hmm. right? What these zones are, are, um, in the new version, either RSI or CCI overbought over zone areas. Uh, so you're just, instead of having them beneath, you've got them painted onto the main chart. Exactly. Gotcha. Right. Pending trend change. So when this P pops up, that means there's a pending trend change happening. Okay. You can uh, uh, see that um, these lines is from the Renko oscillator, just like it's a Renko MACD essentially. So when you get those signals crosses, mm. right? Yeah. So you saw how we entered this overbought area, but our Renko, our, our Renko oscillator signal line is still underneath. We went back overbought, it broke structure, flipped, we go down to the next zone. See how that works? Mm -hmm. so um interesting so that's actually a Renko macd yeah so let me actually put it on wow the that's cool so there's uh the index the Renko rsi and the Renko momentum indicator built into one oscillator so let me actually mm. change this okay I remember this one. I, I was trying to mess around with this oscillator before. And yep. so you just put this, overlaid it. Yep. Okay. Okay. So you can see right here. Boom. Signal mm -hmm. line. That cross is happening on the momentum on the on the Renko MACD pretty much. Mm -hmm. Okay. It flips here and it flips here. Now, do you trade with this at all? Like, Not lately, not since I released it. But right. again, um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, like I said, as I release indicators, I trade with that live for that period of time until I release the next one. Then I start trading with that live. And I, Makes sense. I don't want to sound too arrogant, but I, 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 I know my system so well and I know my strategy. I can trade without my algos personally. Yeah. yeah. That's how I, I am. <laughs> yeah. Because I can literally look at my algo and be like, I will get a buy right now from this SSL. 
funny. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it, right. but like I've literally have done it on my live calls where I'm like, right. you know, hey, uh, my people, I'm using the Ichimoku. I'm like, you should probably be getting a buy right now, right? He was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. When you spend so much time making these things, I can yeah. overlay it in my brain at this point. Yeah, so, for sure. Um, so yeah, you have the RSI, you can uh, change it. Um, you can switch it from the RSI version, the rank or RSI, right? So you have your rank or RSI showing you what's going on and your 50 level. Then you have um, the momentum, trend momentum, where you just wanna trade based on the momentum oscillator itself. And this is a, another annoying trading view situation. You have to just stretch it out a little bit. But um, so right there, boom, you would have entered all that cell. So who, why, why would someone choose this algo over say, you know, the dot? What makes sense to you? Yeah. If so, you got into trading and you're like, I like Renko charts, but trading view yeah. sucks. I fixed it. If you're yeah, like, I, you. I, I, I like trading divergences, but understanding how to draw it myself is hard. I made it. If you yeah. like trading moving average crossovers, but you don't trust the signal, I made it. If you like trading the Ichimoku cloud, but don't understand the signals, I made it. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. if you want to trade pullbacks and you don't understand the conditions of a pullback because you're not confident enough, I made it. The whole point about it is I took all strategies that are famous and I was like, okay, how can I make it more efficient for the new trader that's being taught this by some guy on YouTube? Yeah. That when yeah. it pops on the fucking screen, you just take the signal. Yeah. And I just yeah. have to sit here and teach you how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's yep. really what I co it comes down to. The mm -hmm. Don essentially is a moving average crossover system. The Ichimoku is kind of the same thing, but it's a rule. It's a traditionally a rule based trend following system. The right. Renko is just a chart overlay that you will build a, build a strategy around. I gave it conditions. Right. Right. The pullback yeah. is a dynamic support and resistance mixed with an oscillator. How do people usually trade pullbacks? They have their moving average. They have their RSI at the bottom over over sold conditions uh, bounced off the moving average you enter into a pullback right. i made it yeah. so it just plots on your screen yeah and then i made it so it can automate if that's a strategy that makes sense to you money moves investments went from wanting to be a mentorship per se to i'm just an overall tool software tools company but you do have a mentor that will teach you so you're an algo as a service Gotcha. Yeah, I'm an algo for service. <laughs> and because go. I understand pretty Ass. much, because in order to make <laughs> these things, I have to understand all styles of trading. So right. I do understand smart money concepts. I yeah. do understand divergence trading. I have a preference on how I trade, but right. I can teach you how to do it. Yeah. Is your favorite style basically the, the, the you know, baseline trend following scalping? Yeah. That's yours? Yeah. I've that's my style that. only because that's how I learned first. No, okay, yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? No nonsense for it, just drilled it into my brain. Right. And, it, and now I can I can literally not have it on the screen and see my moving averages. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, so yeah. it's kind of scary, huh? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, no, no, I totally get it, man. Like I, I've I've messed, I've literally tested every single indicator on trading view. Mm -hmm. Uh I'm pretty sure I've like there's like 10,000 of them. I've probably gone through most of them. And yeah. uh, I, can, I can trade without an indicator at this point, you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, the, the dawn is just so easy that I, I don't even have to look at the, look at the screen yeah. to trade with it. That's what I love about it. Yeah. And, you know, and it may look crazy and stuff like that, but, no, no. Um, you know, it's, it's a system. It's supposed to plot on the screen to give you that confidence. You know what I'm saying? Well, if it's stuck in here, what were you saying? Well, I was going to say, well, what is every, every new trader, their biggest issue is um, usually is that they just don't have a system, right? Yeah. But, it's trading is a system. You know what I mean? It's just following a system in rules. Right. So I, like I said earlier, the market only goes one or two ways up or down. Right. BP said it himself, you can traditionally flip a coin and if you have proper risk management, you'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. giving you the little edge of giving you rules that, like, for example, this is a perfect example right here. 
right? You're in oversold conditions. Mm -hmm. But what stopped you from buying here, 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 here? Does the oscillator been out below? Exactly. Yeah. Now, when the oscillator flipped, what does that mean? It's got a nice low risk entry point there. Yeah. Market structure broke. Yep. And then you yeah. can see this arrow right here. That means it has exited the over over um, sold condition. You enter here to the next zone. Yep. What makes you hold this trade? Your oscillator is telling you to stay in it. Yep. What makes you exit this trade? Your oscillator flipped. Yeah. What makes you want to get back into the trade? You're seeing, because I don't traditionally trade overbought, oversold. That's reversals. I don't trade reversals. Mm -hmm. I treat it as a magnet. If it's oversold, you're in a selling condition market, staying in as much as you can. If you're overbought, you're in a buying condition market. Because if you look at the RSI and overbought, oversold conditions, most of the time, it doesn't come out of that immediately. The trend follows that. It, it, takes, it takes a divergence for it usually to break. Yeah, it takes a you know, like kind of here at the top, at the top of this structure, anyways. That that's a good that's a that divergence trading with what I call magnet trading. Mm -hmm. That that's the idea. It's a magnet. You're trading in a magnet, right? This is your exit condition for getting into this trade. When it switched, right. then it consolidated. Now, would you get into a sell here? I would tell you no. Why? You don't have a break of structure. And Perfect. your oscillator is still positive. No, your, your oscillator is actually negative. You have I was a, looking at this one here at the bottom. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. This one, this one, this is the trend momentum. This is the MACD signal line. Oh, gotcha. Right? Okay. So if you're using a MACD signal line, you're waiting for a break of structure. The break of the structure is the key. Yeah. Didn't happen. But did I just tell you follow what the what what this says blindly? Or did I tell you, use this as an indication plus just pure break, pure structure. Yeah. Enter. Yeah. That's it. You know what I mean? That's oh, what yeah. any system. Yeah. No, nah, man. Um, nah, it's just, your indicators are amazing, dude. Uh, like you took, you, you took everything that I, I it was in my brain and, and put it on a screen basically. So uh, in, in a way better way than I could have ever done it. Um, yeah. yeah and, so yeah those weren't showing but yeah you can see tp tp t that's actually disgusting <laughs> yeah no if you if you got this set up on uh just a, a bot and um and you got to figure out how to get this set up into code this into ninja trader or i don't know you know so well, how's I'll your new you right now uh you're actually the first person on a public platform that knows this information um, I'm building a platform that you told, me, you told me that the first time we ever met. Yeah. Yep. You're going to compete with trading view, compete with trading view. Um, and it's going to solve all the problems chain view has and people like Ninja trader, uh, because it has certain and more advanced settings for trading tech data, stuff like that. And once I realized when I wanted to build my own platform, that trading view is kind of just being cheap. <laughs> is that right? yeah they're because, just they're basically just taking advantage of retail not knowing that those are edges for people yeah i mean if you want to pay for extra data uh i mean if the, if, if if i want to give you more real-time data that's where trading view will um you know do you want to pay five dollars a month extra for the nasdaq futures live data mm -hmm. so that's what it is it's an it's an extra fee to give more live data tick data stuff like that and I you don't even it. get you don't even get tick data though that's the thing. exactly and that's why um rank it's charts, also cheap. repaint and mm -hmm. stuff all these things i don't plan on having those issues um sure. and then also uh, brokers will be implemented into the platform so just like metatrader i'm actually it, it's two birds one stone i could probably put metatrader you know what i'm saying and put brokers integrated into your um mm -hmm automation right now you have to use third parties like pine connector or it's going to be built into the platform um you don't know anything about this but as a company like money moves investments um i have to build a outside website in order to give people access and then i have to go in here and manage access and give people access manually 
and then when their subscription ends, delete them. Um, that takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't give free trials. That's why I can't do a lot of things because it it, it just doesn't. It's pretty cumbersome. It's, yeah, I have 23 scripts, 100 users, and I got to do each of them individually. That's a whole day's work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, but I'm going to set it up that companies can do that, test their Stripe, and it will be automatic for their users based on their subscription. So, you know, for business management, trading management, you know, risk will be automatically implemented. All these things, excuse me, will be solved in this new platform. Um, It'd probably be nice too as well if, uh, if people just wanted to pay for one indicator. Like, so for example, instead of saying, hey, it's, it's 150 a month for everything, I just want to pay like 30 bucks a month for the Dawn or something like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, if you could I've had, I, I've thought about doing it. And, and the thing about that is, like I just said, doing that manually. Well, I'm not saying doing it now. I'm saying once you're upgraded oh, to yeah. this kind of stuff is, is. Yeah, but let me, I'll just let everybody know now, right? So it's like, put it this way. People will pay 65 to to $100 for one of these other algo companies. And they don't do signal stats. They have signal alerts. They'll mm -hmm. tell you when something has a buy signal, but not a signal, right? Live calls, you know, just mentorship. Mm -hmm. What people don't understand or they don't see yet is you're 150 for seven algos that you can play with and find one that you like. And I do daily calls that usually people make their monthly <laughs> <laughs> their monthly subscription on my calls, right? Even if they have a small account, they'll make that in a week, right? Um, then you have multiple different signals chats. Then you, it's just, a, it's a lot to offer and a lot of it's automated. So the problem with doing it one at a time is not for me to be greedy or anything like that. It's just about efficiency really, right? And, and that's it. It's just about being efficient and even though that 150 price point, you get a lot for that 150 price point. It's not one algo. You get seven algos, 10 oscillators. You don't need them all, but you also have someone that teaches you how to use them every day. No, I, you know, I totally get the value proposition for sure. Yeah. Cause you definitely, um, you're definitely getting the value for the money. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I kind of look at it like this is, um, you know, over time, I think your service will probably be around for the long haul. And you'll probably end up getting a lot of the folks that bought the easy algo for 30 bucks. And they're going, yeah, you know, I'd rather have something else now, you know what I mean? And then, you know, they end up coming to something a little bit more substantial. Like your service, I would say is a little bit, it's quite a bit more substantial than yeah. that. But I mean, maybe, um... but I think a lot of, and I, I'm not trying to give you business advice because I don't run, even run a business, but it's like, I feel like from a marketing standpoint, having that intro, like an intro algo, you know yeah. what I mean? That someone could just go, here's an easy price point, you know, it's kind of like a, a tester, you know what I mean? And get people's feet wet a little bit, you know, because you're, you're marketing to the new trader. And so like that guy that was in my, tele my telegram, yeah. you know, I wasn't trying to steer him away from your service. Oh, he actually spoke to me. He, I Good. Think he signed up. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I, I figured he would after you, after you piped up, but I wasn't trying to steer him away, but he had literally just joined and was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I was like, yeah. well, I was like, maybe you should just stick around for a bit and, you know, maybe yeah. find something easy. I didn't, you know what I mean? So it's like well, maybe I, I would I because I'm relaunching the website. So mm -hmm. um the one so, so something that I was gonna implement was your first month, you'll get it half off. So that 150 that's, that's turns great. into 75 your first month, and then the second month will just go to the 150 if you don't cancel. Right. Um I've tried it before and it did okay, but the conversion rate wasn't so great um you know people forget to put money in there whatever it'll cancel the yeah. subscription or people will cancel and 
try to make a new account. I'm trying to, that, that's why I had to stop doing free trials and stuff because people took advantage, right? So um, that's the, those are the things you have to dance around when, uh, you know, you're doing this type of business. It's not that I don't want to, it's just, it has to make oh, sense. I get it. I get it. Uh, I get it. It has to make sense for you. Um, yeah. The one thing but, I was, um, my, I'm my definitely point, thinking about that. My point was that it was uh, when I first came across your stuff yeah. and I'm a pretty, I've been, a, I've been trading for a long time. I was pretty intimidated by your indicators at first. <laughs> okay. So that's the, that was my, that was my thing. And it's not that, you know, maybe I'm just an imbecile or something, but it's like, I, you know, learning how to trade the five, you know, SMA should probably be your first starting point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> trade a five, 10 SMA crossover, learn how to do that. And then you can get into the, you know, setting up your ATRs and your SSL. Cause when you get a new trader in and say, you're going to give them a $75, you know, off and you got one month to really, really get this newbie going, then your conversion rate is going to suck because that's not enough time to get a new trader going. You know oh, what I'm saying? I'll give you into a sneak peek into the new course. So um, you have your basics, right? Risk management, all of this. And then intro to V2, where even in the toolkit, I go over each part of the toolkit. Right. So this is where I'm aiming to kind of solve that issue, how to trace upon resistance, how to trade order blocks, how to trade liquidation zones, how to trade higher time frame with Fibonacci, how to trade with market profile, how to trade divergences. The toolkit actually has a 10 oscillator divergence oscillator attack, mm -hmm. uh, combination. So how to trade sessions. Right. Um, and then same thing with the Don, you know, ATR risk calculator overview. How do you use CPR central? You know, I go over in detail. I never got access to any of this, by the way. Yeah, there's no content to them yet. I'm oh, actually not, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like they, I have them all here. I'm going to okay. put them up um, because I'm actually leaving this website. So, um, uh, gotcha. You know, even with the sensei, what is the sen What is the ichimoku? What is the you know breakdown? So it's not that I just throw indicators at people. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> you know, saying that. I, I know, I know that. you weren't, but I'm just saying it. You know, they they are intimidating. There are heavy indicators and. Um, you know, even what is Renko, you know what I'm saying? Like Renko breakdown, Chico breakdown and all my oscillators, what is the oscillator? So it's like, I try my best to uh, teach the new trader and then my strategies, my indices and my crypto strategies. Um, and then the last steps, train psychology, stuff like that. So, sure. um, you know, I just wanted to share that. So, you know, people are yeah. like, yes, they are intimidating, but by the time you get to the overview part of each algo, um, you're going to understand it. That's One not, thing I could say is they are intimidating at first, but if you if you learn it, yeah, I, it's extremely effective. Yeah. I know this. So uh, once I sat down and actually practiced with it and traded it live and learned it, you know, it, it all became clear. But yeah, at first it was kind of like, uh, yeah, dude, um, this is a lot. <laughs> Especially with how how many there are, it's like which one do I even start with? You know, so. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That. Well, yeah. uh, dude, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, yeah, this I think this is really good, man. I think this is uh, this will make a good video, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. A lot it. of good Thank information. You. Um, you know, you, you have the Discord link. You have your link. So, you know, I'm gonna. Well, um, did you say you had a guy that edits videos? Yeah, no? he, he does it for like fifty dollars a video. 50 bucks? Yeah. I wonder if it's worth it to have him uh, do this video. Um, what do you think? Is it worth it to have him chop this video up? And If you like, yeah. Yeah. And he'll look it over and probably be done within the next day or two. Think so? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I'll, I'll pay for it. It's not a huge deal, but... Um, yeah, I think it's probably worth it. So I'm um, once I'm gonna I'll get I'll send this video over to you. Or if you want me to give give me his contact info. I yeah, do you have uh, you have Instagram? Oh, actually, no. He I think he sent me his information. I'll send it to you over Telegram. Yeah, send it to me, and I'll uh, I'll send it over to him. And cause I I would like this to be a, you know, a little bit higher quality video than I'm used to doing. So no problem. Um, yeah, we could definitely do that. Yeah, he has a telegram. So uh, I'd like this video to get um, to to stick around. 
I'll maybe get my highest video is like 30k or something. You know, I'd like to get this that's one up there. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into uh, the YouTube thing. All these videos that I just showed you that's in the course are going to upload it to the YouTube as well. Because honestly, um, no one can do anything crazy with it without the algos anyway. So yeah. that's how I look at the stuff. So, um, But yeah, man, thanks for doing the video with me. Um, sure. And anytime you you know want to do videos, anytime I release a new one, we can do another one. Um, the, the Money Move Strategy V2 and the Ultimate Hulk Cross are getting an update this week. So they'll be released and um, yeah, so. Well, um, as far as the copy trader goes, how do I get that set up, man? I have no idea what I'm doing there. I mean, you don't have to tell me now, but you know, let's see what's the best, like I could probably figure it out if you pointed me in the right direction. Yeah, so the copy trader is, cause I know you trade like equities and futures. The copy trader is meant for Forex. So um, using my Forex broker that we, that we use through, um and it anytime i trade it trades on your account but um it's attached to the bundle which is the two i, I knocked it down from 250 to 200 um right because there's a lot of people that want it but just can't afford 250 a month and even though i believe it's worth it because man seven bots you know what i mean right. life so i'm like all right 200 that's fine but um it's part of that because I have to pay monthly for the copy trader itself, the service. You know, that's an easy thousand dollars a month for all my people. Mm. You know I mean? mm -hmm. um, as it grows, that that monthly grows as well. So yeah. um, until the platform is done and I have the built-in copy trader in it. All right. So um, oh, so that's what the copy trader is. Is I you attach your account to mine, and when I execute a trade on my account, I'm essentially trading for you. Just copies it, yeah. Just yeah. copies it over. Okay. All right, that's cool. Um, well, dude, appreciate it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to sleep. You're the man. All right, appreciate your stuff. You. you can send this video over to me in Telegram. Yeah, I will. I will. All right. Appreciate All right, you, bro. See you later.